The president is ending a whirlwind day in America's finest city. Today, President Biden flew into San Diego aboard Air Force One. We watched it touch down right there at Naval Air Station North Island at around noon for a meeting with military allies and a Democratic fundraiser in Rancho Santa Fe. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Jesse Pagan at Naval Base Point Loma. President Biden talked about a pact with two other nations to share submarine technology and strengthen their fleets. He wrapped up his night with a fundraiser in Rancho Santa Fe. CBS 8's Richard Allen breaks down the visit as the president gets ready to run for a second term. And according to an official from the Democratic National Committee, tonight's reception here in Rancho Santa Fe for President Biden had about 40 people in attendance and expected to raise roughly a million dollars for the DNC. Oh, it's the president? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. As the chopper carrying President Biden lands in the polo fields of Del Mar before a motorcade whisks him off to Monday night's fundraiser, construction worker James Vanderveld, working nearby, did a double take. I've never even been that close to a president. Yeah, it's, it's super crazy to even know he's right there. While President Biden has yet to formally announce re-election, tonight's event at an $8 million home in Rancho Santa Fe is the latest sign he's gearing up for another run at the White House. We're putting ourselves in the strongest possible position to navigate the challenges of today and tomorrow. President Biden began the day at Naval Base Point Loma with an historic meeting with the Prime Ministers of Australia and the UK. Biden calling this an inflection point in history that will affect the prospect of peace for decades to come. The United States can ask for no better partners in the Indo-Pacific where so much of our shared future will be written. Announcing that the three nations, which formed a partnership 18 months ago known as AUKUS, are accelerating plans to provide Australia with nuclear-powered submarines in an effort to help counter China's military buildup in the Indo-Pacific region. AUKUS has one overriding objective, to enhance the stability of the Indo-Pacific amid rapidly shifting global dynamics. Dr. Arzan Tarapur is a research scholar at Stanford University. It is China whose navy is growing at unprecedented rates that is actually setting the pace for military developments in the region. Countries like Australia um, are simply catching up, arguably, arguably belatedly. From San Diego, President Biden will head north to Monterey Park in Los Angeles County, the site of a mass shooting earlier this year in which 11 people were killed just as Lunar New Year celebrations were beginning. There, President Biden plans to discuss the White House's efforts to curtail gun violence. And following Monterey Park, President Biden will then head to Las Vegas, where he's expected to discuss lowering prescription drug prices. All right, Richard, thank you. And before his reception in Rancho Santa Fe, President Biden stopped at San Diego International Airport. There he was greeted by San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria, Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs, County Supervisor Nora Vargas, and the chairman of the Saquon Band of Kumeyaay Indians, Cody Martinez. The group took a photo before President Biden then hopped on Marine One to head to the San Diego Polo Fields in Del Mar. We've been covering the president's trip every step of the way. For complete coverage, head to CBS8.com. You can also follow us on social media and get alerts sent directly to your phone with the CBS8 app.